to see a doctor at some point, and that includes those who make a future mission to Mars. That's right. Understanding space medicine will be crucial in keeping everyone healthy and safe. Well, the mission to do that right now starts on the campus of Duke University. Lift off. As the countdown to Mars continues, you cannot take every kind of medical specialist you might need with you into space. As man replaces machine, the six to eight month journey to Mars and the extended period of time on the planet will surely come with medical needs. Taking the human body, which is used to life on Earth, a terrestrial life, and then when you put it into space, you take everything to the extreme and it really pushes your understandings of chemistry, biology, and physics. So Dominic Tanzillo and Nick Saba decided to be a part of the solution. Space is becoming a much more applicable place, right? With all of the private industry and all of the money now flowing into it, uh, this is the perfect time to learn about a subject like medicine in space. They just wrapped up the second semester of teaching a course in space medicine at Duke. They've now expanded that knowledge to high school students as well as an online summer course. A lot of people that are very interested in STEM or interested in space haven't really considered the medical side. It's usually a focus on the engineering, but you know, it takes a village to get someone up into space and Part of that village is medical staff and personnel. Nick spent months interviewing NASA engineers, doctors, and astronauts, and tapped the expertise of Duke physicist Ronan Plesser, who spoke to us while hiking. These two kids showed up with what looked like a really exciting plan to teach something really cool where I could learn something and maybe contribute on the corners because physics comes into everything. If we look to a, hopefully a future in space, well, you know, we'll need to overcome these problems at some point, and having that optimism and that hope is super important. Optimism and hope, something needed in space just as much as it's needed right here on Earth. And, you know, there are a lot of kids who would be excited about going into space, not necessarily just Mars, but any of the other long-term missions. And this is a whole new avenue to explore. Yeah, I mean, it's something you don't even think about when you're right. talking about space travel is people need a doctor. That's right. And one, one of the things he also brought up is the 20 minute delay on Mars. So let's say you need a consult or that you need a psychologist because you've been there so long. They're trying to talk about, you know, what you can do to subtract that 20 minute delay and handle it on your own. Wow, so interesting. Yeah, it's cool.